Hey everybody, it's Defense Mechanism. I wanted to make a quick tutorial on making a kick drum in the new versions of LSDJ. It should work in version 5.9 or newer. I'm using version 6.3.2. These versions have a couple of new features. One is the drum tuning, and the other is the drum max setting. If you're unfamiliar, the pitch algorithms have changed in the new versions of LSDJ, and they're basically a linear, smooth pitch slide, and in order to emulate the old kind of logarithmic or exponential pitch curve, the drum tuning was implemented. So what that does is basically allows you to start your kick on the highest pitch and then have a, a, a pitch slope downward similar to the old kicks. And it also prevents transposing, so you can have a kick and a bass line and transpose that phrase with the, both the kick and the bass line, and the bass line will be transposed, but the kick will not. So let me just kind of demonstrate for you how I've been doing my kicks, and um, hopefully it will make a little bit more sense when we get into it, and I'll explain a little more as we go. The first thing I'm going to do is set up my kick instrument. We'll go ahead and go over to the instrument screen, set our tuning to drum, we will set it to manual mode and I'll customize my synth. What I like to do is basically filter a sawtooth. So I'll filter it to something that more or less resembles a sine wave or a, maybe a clipped sine wave. This isn't really very important. You'll also notice that the new uh, synth screen allows for variable Q to be adjusted from start to end, which is really cool. So I've nearly got this almost where I want it. I'm just going to up the volume a little bit. Uh, that's looking pretty sine wavy. That's, that's pretty close. So what we do next is we're going to tune it, our kick to the highest note possible, which is, as you can tell, very shrill. And there's a reason for that. And I'm just going to put some pitch commands on this table. I like to use one tick P command to control the very initial slope and then an L command after that to avoid any wrapping. And then I usually kill it after six ticks. Um, you can hear how that sounds. And we'll just kind of copy this. So it sounds good to me, but I noticed that there, and you may notice this too, that there's a very high, high frequency transient on the top end of that kick. So what Drum Max will do is it will tell us that B9 note, we can adjust what note in the 12 tone tuning that this is mapped to. This is the only note that is actually mapped the other notes in drum tuning don't map to any notes in the 12 tone tuning. Another thing I like to do to cut down on the transient is to put an E command in the table and then change the um, instrument volume so that way it cuts down on the high end transient. And then you can also hear the difference as we tweak the d drum max setting. So then you can adjust your pitch commands from here. Um, maybe you like it to go a little bit slowly at first. Maybe you like it to go a little bit more quickly and have more low end afterwards. Uh, at this point, it's just kind of a matter of taste. But I thought I would share uh, the technique that I've been using to make kick drums in the new version of LSDJ. I hope you find it helpful. And don't hesitate to uh, come at me with any questions that you've got. Thanks for watching.